while back, I was intrigued by the idea of two really smart people going against each other. I didn't want the enemies to front stroke. I wanted them to remain enemies till the end. So I turned to Reddit for suggestions. One of the comments was the book Malice by Keigo Higashino. I went into this book without reading the official blurb. All I knew was that it involved a murder and two characters going against each other. And I'm glad for that because I think this is one of the books where the less you know before reading the more the enjoyment. So I won't reveal any of the important events that take place in the book. The structure of the book is quite interesting. The story unfolds through written accounts of Osamu Nonoguchi and investigation reports of police detective Koichiro Kaga. In the beginning, Osamu Nonoguchi mentions that he's writing these accounts to help the detective with the accurate record of the events that took place on the evening he found his friend dead in his study room. In the second chapter, which is the investigation report, detective Koichiro Kaga mentions that he's convinced Nonoguchi is the killer. At this point, I had to stop and think why. What happened in the first chapter to hint at this? This was one of the books which I read along with listening to the audiobook. So I quickly glossed over the first chapter, but nothing stood out to me. Thinking this is going to be like one of the Columbo episode, I resumed my reading and listening, but got another surprise. Detective Kaga goes to Nonoguchi's house to make an arrest, and after a little back and forth, Nonoguchi confesses. I wasn't sure what to expect for the rest of the book. The first chapter showed a murder, the second chapter showed the arrest and confession. What was left? Well, for people like me, the detective puts that in his report. The police didn't have enough evidence to put Nonoguchi on trial and get him convicted. Yes, they have a confession, but without evidence, Nonoguchi might change his plea and walk away. So what I first thought to be a whodunit mystery, then thought to be a how catch em story, turns out to be a why done it. This was my first time reading this type of mystery. Throughout the story, the detective digs deeper to uncover the motive. With every new information that comes to light, the reader doubts the motive that the detective had initially presented in his report. Even the detective later starts to question his own theory. And this doesn't bode well because the police have already given a formal statement to the news channels. There were times when I thought, maybe Nonoguchi was protecting someone else. When you read the book and reach somewhere towards the middle, certain events would strengthen this idea. But no, Nonoguchi is the real murderer and the motive is the real mystery. This is the official blurb of the book. Acclaimed best-selling novelist Kunihiko Hidaka is found brutally murdered in his home on the night before he's planning to leave Japan and relocate to Vancouver. His body is found in his office, a locked room within his locked house by his wife and his best friend, both of whom have rock-solid alibis. Or so it seems. At the crime scene, police detective Koichiro Kaga recognizes Hitaka's best friend Osamu Nonoguchi. Years ago, when they were both teachers, they were colleagues at the same public school. Kaga went on to join the police force, while Nonoguchi eventually left to become a full-time writer, though with not nearly the success of his friend Hitaka. As Kaga investigates, he eventually uncovers evidence that indicates that the two writers' relationship was very different than they claimed, that they were anything but best friends. But the question before Kaga isn't necessarily who or how, but why. In a brilliantly realized tale of cat and mouse, the detective and the killer battle over the truth of the past and how events that led to the murder really unfolded. And if Kaga isn't able to uncover or prove why the murder was committed, then the truth may never come out. K 
Keigo Higashino is a Japanese author, primarily known for his mystery books. The Mystery Writers of Japan organization conducts several competitions. One of them is the best unpublished mystery story. In 1985, Keigo Higashino won in this category. A year later, he decided to become a full time writer and has been writing since then. Later on, between the years 2009 and 2013, Keigo Higashino served as the president of the organization that gave his big breakthrough. Malice is the fourth book in the Detective Kaga series. It was originally published in 1996. In 2014, an English translation was published by Minotaur Books and I believe is the first one to be translated from this series. As I do sometimes, I read this book along with the audiobook, narrated by Jeff Woodman. This was my first time listening to Jeff Woodman's voice. I quite enjoyed the audiobook and would happily pick another one narrated by Jeff Woodman. His speed, his voice for different characters and the emotions he puts in the words are perfect. For someone like me who was getting the first taste of White Dunnet Mystery, Malice by Keigo Higashino combined with Jeff Woodman's voice is a very good starting point.